Today we're going to review some of the features of the Big Cat USA Hampton Folding Bike. This is a great space saving and highly efficient e-bike and uh, it's receiving great reviews from our clients and it's because of all the great features on this bike. We have an aluminum frame, 20 inch wheels, uh, 20 inch by 125 in size, efficient for most small and mid-range trips. Your braking power is coming from mechanically driven 160 millimeter disc brakes. You've got an LED light uh, on the front end for nighttime viewing. Your battery is lithium ion, 36 volt, 10 amp hour. Average range is going to be uh, 15 to 30 miles. Charge time is between three and a half to four hours. And that's powering a 350 watt motor capable of maintaining a 20 mile an hour speed. It's a very comfortable bike to ride on. Gives you the option of both pedal assist with a cadence sensing five magnet system in the bottom bracket. Also equipped with a pedal assist choice of control, three different modes, low, medium, and high. An actual pedal assist from low to high in three different settings. Individual light switch for nighttime riding. Shimano six-speed drivetrain uh, with rear cassette controlled by an SIS shifting system with the optional throttle on your right hand side for those moments when you don't want to pedal. A 350 watt motor capable of maintaining speeds of 20 miles an hour in addition to brake levers for the mechanically actuated disc brakes also contain a motor cutoff switch. The pedal assist is controlled by a five magnet cadence sensor which takes us back to our Shimano rear derailleur and our six speed cassette. To remove the battery, we flip the seat forward, turn the key to the unlock position, raise the handle and remove. Uh, carry in with you to your workplace or to a recharging station. Max charging time on this battery, six hours. Range should be 15 to 30 miles. To insert it back into place, slide it down, lower the handle, and turn the key back. To power on, we turn the key to the on position. Select on. Got three modes to choose from. I'm going to start riding in the in the medium mode. When I'm shifting, I want to keep in mind that we have two shift knobs on the SIS system. The thumb on the higher position will take the gears to the lower numbers. The lower the number, the easier to pedal. This lower plus button takes us higher. Higher the number, faster the speed, generally the harder to pedal. If at any time I don't want to pedal, I can simply roll back on the, on the throttle. So now we're going to go ahead and, and take a test ride. Remember when shifting a bike, um, an e-bike just like a regular bike, the best time to shift is when you're pedaling, and generally not under heavy stress. So when you're pedaling nice and smoothly, that's an ideal time to shift between gears. Another thing I like to tell clients riding bikes is that the optimal position for your feet should be that when you're on the seat, you're on the balls of your feet. This is two faceted. Primarily, it ensures that you have the best extension on your leg when you're pedaling. Slight bend to the knee, so you're not locking out your knee, but certainly a long enough extension that you get maximum efficiency. And that's critically important. Okay, so let's go.
adapted folding bike is, is an excellent riding bike. No sooner do you start pedaling uh, and hit a five to seven mile an hour speed when you feel the motor kick in. Uh, it's an exhilarating feeling to have that extra push. To know that if I'm going up a hill or facing a strong headwind, I've got a little extra juice behind me. It's a fun ride, it takes up very little space, and is an extremely cost-effective purchase. It's your Hampton Folding Bike.